timer is running. Hey guys, welcome to the Three Way Podcast. I'm doing this again for the second time. I don't want to talk about it. I'm Jerks. Uh, we're doing the podcast today a little bit different because um, uh, I couldn't get everybody to come together today, so I decided to do it this way. But I was also going to take the opportunity to have somebody, one of my friends, come by and uh, hop on and have some conversation with me. And that's why you see that logo right there of Mitchie Senpai of twitch.tv forward slash Mitchie underscore Senpai. Did everybody say hi? Hey. What's going on, guys? <laughs> he is not upset either that we just have to re-record this again. We literally got like halfway through it. Then I realized that wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs> not at all upset. Not even a little bit. That's fine. All right. So we're going to start off with pop. Pop. <laughs> I'm a cold. Pop, it's pop. pop culture. Pop culture. Anyways, Stormy Narrative 51 was Friday, February, February, September 20th. Jesus, I'm way off now. All right. We had some conversations about this. We're going to rehab some more conversations about this. <laughs> Number one, it was not canceled, apparently. Well, I guess the original creator canceled it like officially but mm -hmm. people already made plans to come here uh supposedly los was saying last week that people from the netherlands had like said they were going to come here so there was no way this is going to be canceled regardless if the original guy said hey it's canceled uh so this has been redubbed uh uh alien stock and <laughs> and he the, okay the original creator redubbed it to alien stock moved it to uh vegas and he was going to have like some kind of EDM festival slash alien orgy fest going on down there. But as we've been watching on the news, people have been showing up to, uh, to uh, Nevada. Is it Nevada? Nevada? Nevada. <laughs> I don't know. And people it's either or if you're not from there, to be honest. All right, all right fine. Whatever. <laughs> so people have been showing up. Like so far it was like, you know, a couple of like, what was it? Like 300 people showing up? Like 100 people? And then all of a sudden the weekend starts to come in and here comes more and more. And so far we have two arrests. No aliens have been found yet. And uh, Mitchie, of course, is a part of our, our uh, illustrious government. And I was uh, I was trying to get some info out of him to see maybe if he has clearance to talk about some of the situations that are going to be happening down there. And if what happens if they actually find aliens. Oh, you know what? I just remember there was some uh, UFO footage that was declassified by the government saying that, yes, those motherfuckers are real. I just remember that. But that's I mean, it's been decla declassified for a while now, but now it's becoming back in the news, especially with the, the short Area 51 bullshit going on. All right, Mitch, this is it. This is your time to shine. Tell me about those classified information. What do you know? Go <laughs> declassified information. It's they don't declassified. They, you can talk about it now. You, they, you won't. they don't tell us anything. Dude. <laughs> I just want you to know that, like, if if ever at a moment. Right. Yeah. So. Time, time, like time served in Korea, um, our president, you know, shows up to Korea. They shut down one of our dining facilities, and I kid you not, it had to be the best one. Now, mind you, I live close to the one that they didn't really care about. Yeah. But we had to pretty much shut down the base, launch all our aircraft, and kind of like not a show of force, but kind of let North Korea know we ain't playing around, son. Oh. Um. But the moment he leaves, now everything goes back to normal. They like what was going on. I'm like we don't know. They just told us to do it, so do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as unclassified goes, I for UFO at least that's pretty dope. I don't know. Come on, we, man. We know, listen, you no. Know. Come on. We know we know as much as the that's next a, guy who's not in the military, dude. Okay, you guys will talk and, and be like, oh, look, check it out. Um, here's what here's what I found on the internet today. Here's a meme, bro. We'll, we'll see a meme and be like, ha, that's funny. And it came out like two weeks ago for you guys. Um, uh, There's also that one guy who was a part of the uh, Blink-182 band. I forgot his name, but he, he quit the band to go hunt aliens. And supposedly he had leaked some video that he got from some guy who used to be in the government as well. And, like, I think that's what kind of sparked this whole thing of, like, oh, yeah, about that. Aliens are real. And those videos that been, you've been seeing about our, our guys in the air, like, like recording these uh, unknown flying objects, whatever, are absolutely 100,000% real. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like, okay, there's going to be something 
there's I mean there's not gonna be something but there is something there how deep it goes like in terms of what kind of information that is there or there's actually like little men down there I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of scared to be honest I'm like I mean <laughs> obviously obviously they haven't like done anything to us yet at least I don't think so knock on wood but I mean there's there so. has been a lot of like 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 from early 2000s to like now there's been an explosion of technology like insanely but it has started slowing down except we got ray tracing now so but like i don't know it's there's something there bro i'm gonna just say that I mean, there's something there as, <laughs> as far as seeing a ufo or a circular dish in the sky that has lights um most people don't know there are certain aircraft carry that dish for uh just surveillance really like our uavs used to have that now they don't um we all I mean, uh -huh. they they still have uh some do have that circular dish like the apache has a circular dish mm -hmm. you know on top of it. And it, it it looks like a hat you know yeah no no they said they said that uh one of the uh, like in the 50s or 60s i believe whenever this whole alien phenomenon was going on that the when the military was working on their like um their their ships for i mean their ships their planes for um recon one of them was the u2 and that that mm. one was uh was like circular or had like a dish on it or something like that but it also was like one of those that was like high 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 altitude so if somebody like on the ground is trying to see something and they see like a fucking disc flying around the air then yeah you know they'll be like oh shit that's a fucking alien bro yeah uh, i mean think just really think about it you <clears throat> you're on your way to work right you're walking probably parked your vehicle somewhere else your pov from a distance you have to take like a five minute ten minute walk in the middle of the night maybe working the graveyard <laughs> shift who knows right and you see a vehicle you've never seen before but you being the common everyday citizen that you are you don't you don't know that there's a military base because in your everyday life you don't think oh there's a military base not too far from well, here well I, be I believe i believe the area 51 uh base was in like like acknowledged to be real until like what like 2013 i believe or something like that yeah. it, was, it was just recent like they've always denied it but now they're like yeah and like now we're getting like yes there's like ufos flying around and we don't know where the fuck they're coming from or what the fuck they were doing because I, I remember i was reading about the uh about this and like one of the pilots was like yeah it's crazy it looked like a fucking disc it's it's flying like right next to the water and all of a sudden it goes vertical like so fast and like oh shit we're fucked, bro. It just automatically goes vertical. We have the um, uh, the Osprey, pretty much the same thing. It it goes from plane to helicopter. You know, mm. there's there's plenty of things that can really get you to think that. Um, <laughs> there's just like for people looking at a military base from a distance right so you mm -hmm. you you live up in the mountains and there's a military base at the base of the mountain right and we're doing a nighttime live fire not in your direction but it, it it'll look like lasers because we have tracer rounds right not right no i know about tracer, rounds, tracer yeah. rounds yeah, yeah. So you're like, oh, they're shooting lasers in the middle of the night. It was weird. Oh man, <laughs> how do I, how do I, you know, how mm -hmm. do I handle this situation? And then, you know, that you see a plane roll by with a big old disc above or on the <laughs> bottom of it. Yeah. The guy could be doing barrel rolls for all we know. And he's like, Fact. I saw a disc with lights and he was moving around. But that shit was crazy, bro. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I, like, thought, I'm like, I was like, saying, I'm, I'm not trying to get probed mean. again. Yeah, I, I see what you mean, though. That's that shit is. Yeah, I mean, for somebody who's commonly like just a common person, like a civil, as you guys say it, like we're not gonna know the details of what's going on. I mean, even I mean, you you said it yourself. There's a lot of things that go on in the military that you don't even know, and you're in the military, so I get right. it, I understand. But you know, a lot of people are always like letting their imagination run away with them. They're like, oh my god, it's an alien They're coming down. They're gonna ain't a probe us again, and uh, we're gonna go right back to dinosaur land. But anyways. Area 51, storming Area 51 is going on this weekend. Let us know if you guys are like going, gone, happen, thinking about going, returning, still there, because this comes out on Monday. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, just to recap too, uh, there's been two people arrested 
supposedly just standing outside the gates. Maybe they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing. I'm yeah. looking. I'm looking forward to somebody actually. Not, uh, I mean, there's already been a meme of the, like the the news reporter guy or that that guy. Like, there's some kid like Naruto running behind him, <clears throat> but I fully expect somebody in Naruto to run into the military base and get away with it because there's gonna be a court of them. All right, that's what I'm looking for. I'm hoping for it. Hopefully, nobody gets hurt though. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so next in pop, uh, so we were talking about this too earlier. Um, so the office, the office is got gobbled up by nbc to their new streaming service called peacock Ooh, peacock well i mean think about that for a second peacock there's there's a terminology for that called peacocking um which is i guess their way of flexing on us and other uh what what you've never heard the term peacocking no um so all right you obviously know what a peacock looks like right Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> so the the terminology of, of peacocks or peacocking rather is for someone to dress up in a in a manner to pretty much show others that you're better. Um kind of like how artists today, you know, they some some show up in suits and do they got to you know, just a weird way of flexing on someone and, and kind of just showing them like, hey, I'm better than you. And I do it in a weird way. Here you go. You know, the, the peacock, the bird itself is a beautiful bird. I'm thoroughly confused and or scared of what you're telling me right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, doesn't know what peacock NBC is. NBC uh, added... Uh, the office to their staple of uh, streaming services uh, lineup. Since, of course, everybody wants to be a fucking streaming service now. Now, welcome back to like early 90s, late 90s. Cable is back, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's having a streaming service. And this is only going to get worse. Supposedly, like the battle for the streaming service is just starting. Uh, there's going to be a lot. <laughs> I think there's still going to be more coming. Think but about uh, it, dude. Huh? Who's got the best TV channels is what's really going on. That's true. I mean, it's because everybody wants to be catered to them specifically. So they're like, you know, I only watch this one. So I'm only going to no pay for this TV. one. No one watches TV anymore. That's true. I don't know who does. Well, actually, my aunt and uncle do, but they're like of the older generations. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so here, let me read this quote from uh, Polygon that uh, actually they stole from Deadline. Um, mm-hmm. It is my hope. Quote, unquote, it is my hope and goal that we do an office reboot. NBC use Bonnie Hammer, chairman of direct consumer and digital enterprises. So, yes, they want to do an office reboot. Uh, Like I was saying earlier, too, supposedly like these rumors are not new. What they were talking about earlier was uh, they want to do a continuation of the office, maybe have some of the old cast come back. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen maybe i don't know but they're also uh, uh what it looks like now is they're saying they want to reboot it which means are they gonna re- erase everything that's happened in the office pr- uh up until now i don't know honestly that last season was fucking terrible i hated the last season it was like this is like one of my favorite shows the office i can tell you right now i fucking hated the last season just FYI, just let everybody know all right all right cool look the i if they do a <laughs> reboot right i hope it's not like they're trying to bring the old cast back because I feel like that would be impossible. Um, but if they do a reboot, they should be like some of the people quit. Some of the people are in a higher level of management, kind of like a regression thing, but do it entirely. Well, not so entirely new cast, but do a cast who more modern towards uh, office life situations. I know. I know what you're saying, but honestly, I feel like, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm like old now. The way everything is shot now, the way every everybody like is presenting their shows, uh, like more and more in terms of the comedy versions of these shows, I don't like. Like honestly, uh, right now I'm in I'm in the mindset of like, hey, give me these gritty, real, more realistic shows that have some humor in it. Like I fuck with that because right now I've been watching The Boys on Amazon. It's so fucking good, bro. Have you seen that? It's so good. No, dude. Don't. I grew up. I I grew up in a day and age where I played Xbox 360, and I was called so many names. But now you you say anything relative to any of that stuff, 
nowadays people be like i'm offended but i just said i like the color blue that's all i said but i'm offended no but that's what i'm saying though like these comedy shoot shows are gonna be like that they're gonna be really watered down now because of sh uh, situations like that i mean there was also like for example the um uh friends 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 is comedy like nowadays would not fucking fly. That shit would not work because how they oh, yeah. used to like make fun of Monica for being fat and how she lost all that weight and how she looks great now. Like that type of shit would not fly. Uh, where um, what else happened? There was some other stuff like that happened in that show that, like I said, nowadays wouldn't work. Um, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not I'm not uber excited about The Office being rebooted. Um, they, um, NBC also said that they also have some other reboots and sequels continuing as well. For example, they have Battlestar Galactica coming back, Saved by the Bell, and Punky Brewster. And <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is Punky Brewster? You were telling me? I was like, mm, mm. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, weird. uh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, they have Saved by the Bell. Actually, I think I've heard, uh, I was hearing some, uh, rumblings about it already, and I believe they have uh, the what's his name Mario Lopez coming back. Uh, they have um, the guy who plays Zach Morris. I can't remember his real name <laughs> for some reason. I remember his character name, but I don't remember his real name. Uh, and I don't know if they're gonna bring bring back the rest of the original cast. Maybe I doubt it. I don't know. But I kind of I'm kind of interested in watching that one. I don't know why. They actually did a continuation once before the college years, which was not good. You're but anyways, about Mark Gosling. Gosling. Yeah, Mark Gosling. Or, no, is it Mark Gosling? No. No, Goslahar. Goslahar. I don't know. Okay. He kind of looks like what's his name who plays uh, Star Lord from the Avengers. I can't remember his name either. Oh my God! What is his name? I remember him. I know who you're mm -hmm. talking about. Uh, uh, Pete, Peter, Parker. <laughs> <Peter Parker>. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Get me the Spider-Man. Uh, so, anyways, uh -huh. Saved by the Bell is coming back. Battlestar Galactica, Punky Brewster. I'm not watching any of these because these are going to be on Peacock. I'm not paying for another subscription. I don't even pay for Netflix right now, but we're not talking about that right now because I'm broke. Um, <laughs> so let's move off of uh, pop culture. That was fun. Let's let's jump into sports. Uh, sports. Da, na, 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 na. Uh, it's a home run, touchdown, goal, sports, space sports. All right, anyways. All right, so <laughs> we were talking about how how little Big Ben hurt. He hurt his little elbow. His little elbow. Oof. It hurt so much. I can't Oof. feel it. Um, so apparently he was playing a game. I was watching this highlight. He was playing the game. He was throwing the football, and all of a sudden his, his elbow started to hurt. I'm like, well, what's going on? And he actually, it was kind of stupid too of him. Like, I guess they were like actually told him to walk it off because he actually threw a threw a football. It hurt him. He like you could see him wince and everything, and then he goes right back in there and <laughs> throws it again. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dumbass? <laughs> so, anyways, Tom, uh, Mike Tomlin is also saying that uh, I'm reading here off of uh, CBS NFL Sports that Mike Tomlin says that there's a strong possibility possibility that Big Ben bounces back from injury. I'm guessing this is 2020 now. Uh, I, at first, I was thinking he was going to be back for the for the uh, for the playoffs if they make it for the playoffs. But at the way things are looking, I don't think they're making the playoffs. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mitchie, are you you're not big into football, are you? Or like any sports? Um, I'm really big into some sports, but I wouldn't say I'm into them as in like player by player by stats by stats. I'm really like. Is casual... this team doing good right now? Yeah, is this team doing good right okay. now? Like, it doesn't matter how good of a player you are, and as an individual, it's really about the team. Okay, and uh, here, let me read off again off of CBS NFL Sports. Uh, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport <clears throat> reported Tuesday morning that Big Ben will not go, uh, will not undergo Tommy John surgery, and that his expected recovery will be shorter than if he did have the surgery. Uh, continuing Jake DeLome, a former NFL quarterback who underwent Tommy John surgery near the end of his career, believes that uh, Roethlisberger should be able to overcome his elbow injury. But it's a, it's a really weird injury. Nobody hit him. Nobody touched him. And all of a sudden, like, his elbow just started hurting. I, I know there's, like, a shit ton of repetitions he has to do to practice to continue doing his craft. Uh, honestly, I think we might see – we might be seeing the end of Roethlisberger's career, to be honest. He's up there in age. Uh, Pittsburgh needs to move on for, to a new quarterback. If this 
uh, this uh, second string quarterback coming in actually starts to pay off. Again, I think we might have seen the end of Ben Throtz's program. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> you don't have a team um, in the NFL, Mitchie? Like you don't you don't have a team that you root for? Um every since I wanna say fifth grade growing up, kinda I I've been following team by team. I never stood loyal to one team. Okay. Because I didn't want to be that guy to be like, Oh, he's bandwagoning. No, I I, keep, <laughs> I like I like choose a team, doesn't really matter what team. I've I've chose uh the Browns, the Bears, I've Yikes. chosen team like teams that people are like oh they're trash i'm never gonna win because Mm -hmm. for me personally i was like hopefully you know they win i'm not gonna choose them because they're the one guy on the team i follow since college you know after college i'm like i hope he does good in the nfl good Mm -hmm. luck boom Mm -hmm. um i'm really more into college football rather than the nfl but this year around I'm, i'm really good i'm gonna say the falcons this time around Oh, uh, I did. I think, I, I I think was, Death Nest is starting to influence you a little bit more than uh, you know than we know. Well, I was a I was a <laughs> uh, Falcons fan two years ago. Oh, okay. um, when and, they choked to the Patriots. Yeah, and even though they <laughs> choked, I was like, it's it it it's it's the Patriots, dude. I'm from Massachusetts, so. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, it it is it is a complete. <laughs> understanding like oh the Patriots are gonna win the Patriots this the Patriots that's like I don't want to hear about the Patriots because you know how many times I've seen their <laughs> merchandise flown on vehicles yeah I don't know I'm, I've never been like oh okay let me take that back uh when I was younger in my teenage years I used to be rah 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 let's go Rockets because I'm from Houston uh, I used to I bought one jersey in my life I regretted it I just I don't know like I, I've got like once I started getting older, I was just like, why am I investing so much time, money, effort into a sport that really doesn't do anything for me? You know, Ooh. I know it's bad to say, but I mean, I understand, too. Like there's a lot of people, too, that see sports is a great way to blow off steam, you know, kind of like live their fantasy of becoming of being that person like oh man you know if i would have just kept practicing i could have been the next michael jordan you know what i mean uh you're like i get it but uh, i don't know nowadays it's kind of like oh, you know what i'll watch highlights <laughs> i'm not gonna be I sitting think, there I for three I hours i follow basketball more than i do oh okay football um I mean, only in the sense is because in in when I was in high school, I just had, didn't have anything else to do other than play games. Yeah. And games got boring, so I played 2K. 2K? And then I was like, Man, that's right, what I'm, shit got I'm real. A... No, 2K, <laughs> but prior to 2K, live, oof, NBA Live used to get real live. You know, oof, man. I used, to, I used to smack kids. One time this kid raged on me, but we're not going to talk about that right now. He's he's a sad boy. Um, Let's talk about, okay, this next person we're going to be talking about is just it's like, I don't want to kick him while he's down, but I want to kick him while he's down. Cause he annoys me. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown has been, Oh my God. He's been all over the place. And let me start off with this, uh, tweet that I got from, uh, Adam Schefter. Uh, pre- pretty much the timeline of what's been going on so far. Uh, here we go. July, 2018. Uh, oh no, 2019, excuse me. Place on non-football injury list frostbite on his feet from cryotherapy fool went into a cryotherapy and like got frostbite on his feet hello august 2019 miss raiders training camp practices due to helmet grievances i don't know if you heard this but he was having all these issues where he hated the new helmet he wanted to keep using his old helmet but if you ever saw the helmet he was trying to fight for that shit looked like it was from the fucking 1960s that shit was old as fuck september 4th 2019 Posted fines for missing practice had confrontations with GM Mike Mayock. Fu told the GM of the Raiders that he was going to punch him in the face. Mm. Okay. September 7th, 2019. Released from the Raiders after IG post asking for his release. He posted on IG that he wanted to be released. He posted in for, uh, he posted a, an audio recording of him and John Gruden that... Uh, of a conversation they had, but supposedly he had the okay from John. And then, of course, he got released. 
and September 9th, 2019, signs with the Patriots. Now, he also recorded this, like, I think he posted a video of him, like, uh, finding out that he was being uh, signed by the Patriots for a one-year deal. And honestly, the whole situation smelled smelled funky, bro. It smelled like he had planned this shit from the beginning. Uh, supposedly, uh, I forgot I forgot the kicker's name for the for the Colts, but now he does a podcast too. He was talking about this. He was like, he's like, this shit is too fucking fishy. This fool, like, like Antonio Brown, literally forced his way out of the Raiders because he hated the quarterback. He didn't like uh, Derek Carr. He believed he was a terrible quarterback. Supposedly, that's the rumors. So, okay, September 9th, he signs with the Patriots. September 10th, former trainer accuses Brown of sexual assault. Now, this this first accusation, that's right, there's more than one, happened September 10th. But then uh, Antonio Brown actually had conversations uh, recorded, not recorded, but like text, text messages, pictures of them together, of like talking about stuff. Uh, do you see the pictures? They were in bed together, but not naked or whatever. They were just like, ha ha ha. Oh my God. Let's take a selfie. We're together right now. Click that week, that week that that accusation came out, <laughs> she was, she was, uh, she was not taking any interviews or whatever, because that weekend she, she was getting married. <laughs> oh my God. So we move on to September 16th. She was, she was paid. It was all paid. Yeah, I think so. I mean, <clears throat> she's just, like, you know what? I, I want to, I want to. I want to go to the lands of Mordor. I need I need some money to go there, you know, do my Lord of the Rings <laughs> trip. So let's say that he was trying to do something to me. Let's just, let's get some, let's get this payday real quick. And you know the Raiders paid her allegedly. Right? Allegedly, it allegedly <laughs> happened. It was like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna need you to Shut. screw over his career. Ooh, say 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 Ooh. this. We'll, we'll give you like forty mil off bat paper. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think about that. Hey, it's a good one too. You know, these people can be petty too. All of, everybody can be petty. I know I can. Yeah, September sixteenth. QB. September sixteenth. Sports Illustrated article reports second incident involving sexual misconduct. Now, the second incident is the one that happened while he was with the with the Patriots. And now, if anybody knows the Patriots, they if you ain't if you ain't falling in line with the Patriot way. Uh, goodbye. September 20th, Brown reportedly sends threatening text messages to second accuser. Now, I've seen these text messages, and he was basically saying what happened was that he hired this girl to uh, paint a mural in his room, and that it was for two days, and he was going to pay her for two days, and he was going to pay her $1,000 a day. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, supposedly that she had gone the first day, and that this this guy... Uh, Antonio Brown was walking around naked. Uh, he was fucking all these women. He was doing it in front of her, outside of her. Of course, you can hear it, smell it probably. And But that she was paying no mind to it. That she was there to do a job. That she was like focusing on the painting. And that like after the first day, she was like nearly finished. And that she came back the second day to finish, right? Uh, that's where he supposedly allegedly walked up to her with just a, like a towel around his genitals and that he was talking to her kind of like kind of trying to come on to her try to get her to do something with him and that she she left and that's and that's how we get this uh whole second act uh her becoming the second accuser now this one this one because this guy antonio brown sent those messages like he sent it to her his lawyer and I think uh, two other people, I don't remember if they, re if they said who they were, but it was like a group message where he was sending her like, hey, man, she's just thirsty for money. She's broke. She's trying to get money out of me. And then he starts this fool. I don't know why. I don't know why he's saying all this, telling everybody the whole world this shit that this this fucker starts like screenshotting pictures of her and her kids he's sending the messages to the this group chat saying look see i can tell she's poor and that she's broke and oh no 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 i mean whoever his lawyer was to just to first off you're an idiot why would you let your client do this this is so stupid everybody knows if something is happening where somebody's accusing you of something trying to do something to you you stay quiet you don't say a damn thing 
Like that's like one on one. That's like that's like this Facebook ad I saw of like uh, people working at dispensaries. They're like, <laughs> when the cops come and raid you, you're like, I don't know nothing. I don't say nothing. I plead the fifth, one, two, three, four, fifth. Like you shut the fuck up. It was uh, like uh, when he was like four out of five workers working in a dispensary <laughs> got charged um, for working there. One out of the five didn't say nothing. You know why? Because he shut the fuck up. Yep. Shut the that's fuck it. up. They don't shut know the nothing. Fuck up. They don't know if you're in there to buy things. They don't know if you're in <laughs> mm-hmm. there to um, inspect the place. Who knows? You know? Yeah. <laughs> you, sh- you shut the fuck up. All right. Just li- some little bit legal li- advice there. Uh, so again, uh, he sends us sex messages on the twentieth, and the same day he gets released by the Patriots. Aw, uh, he played one game with them, but really they got Josh Gordon. I mean, this should be okay. And you know, I guess Tom Brady's okay too. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. What are your thoughts on this, dude? Um, honestly, it just seems like a big old Raiders being upset. Right, he already. He <laughs> We're already still going tried. back to the Raiders. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's already upset. Like it, it, it starts from there. Like he was just upset with the Raiders. He didn't like how he's being, like being there. Um, and overall, when you're when you're upset and you have all these, it's like a Yelp review. You know, he's mm-hmm. he's saying all these things and it makes the Raiders look bad. Right, mm-hmm. their PR can't get any worse if one of their good players is like, nope. It's bad over there. I don't like it over there. And he's got mm-hmm. friends who obviously play in the NFL. Right. Right. Just like for me, if I got a bunch of uh, buddies, you know, trying to go into the service and they want to go into a certain branch. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't tell you what it's like over there, but I can tell you what it's like over here. Right. And you're not going to like it if such and such and such and such. Just like that. If, you know, oh, I want to go to the Raiders. Nope. Here's why. Here's what I dealt with. But, you know, if you still choose to go through it, they might cheat you different. Who knows? But it just seems like the, the overall of the Raiders, I mean, they got money. And if you got money, you could do a lot of damage to someone's career. They probably paid both of them off. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Right? You know, and, and the whole thing with the with the person doing the mural, the man's in his house. No, I understand that part. Like, you're in their house, so understand the shit that goes down is going to happen in their house because it's their house. Like, if you don't like it, then goodbye, you know? Right, you could have quit, but you showed up not even, like, at this point. Like, the first day, if it happened, you could have been like, look, I'm not doing this. Um, Yeah. Pay me whatever, and I'm gone. Yeah. Right? But she needed the money, so obviously she was going to stick through and then try to get more money out of it. Just mm, for yeah, now that you're putting like that. it like that, yeah, yeah. Now that you're putting it like that, it does seem pretty fishy. Well, like, his 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 uh his agent is saying that he's he's ready to get back into it, ready to join another team. Um, I doubt that he'll find another team right away. Maybe I don't know. Uh, Browns. No, they got a what's the name? Uh, OJ or OBJ. Yeah. I mean, no, they're good. I think the Browns are fine. If he does go to a team, it'll probably be something like the Packers. They don't have a good receiver, like a great receiver. But anyways, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Antonio Brown. The saga continues. (sighs) This guy, man. This guy is, like, spiraling. I don't know. I don't know. All right. (laughs) <laughs> He'll be fine. He has millions of dollars. Uh, all right, let's end uh, sports there and uh, finish up with gaming. My Game favorite. Over. All right. So let's begin with. Uh, let's do Pokemans. <laughs> let's do Pokemans. How about that? Um, Mon poke. Man pokes. All right. So Pokemon releases another video of introducing a new character now sword and shield i fucking hate it already just fyi i don't like there's no innovation in it but they finally gave uh farfetch an, an evolution sir fetched i think his name was <laughs> dude looks i don't know i don't know dude are you watching the video right now i don't know Bro, that's that's pretty much psyduck with a sword and shield. <laughs> i don't know what the fuck anyways so they introduced this new Pokemon. People are going bananas. Uh, <clears throat> I don't really care much for him. 
I'm, I'm like, honestly, I just don't care much for this this iteration of Pokemon. Like I've said before, Game Freak is not innovating anything. They're pretty much uh, rinse and repeat because they know it's going to make them money. And for me, I'm just so tired of that. Like, give me something new. Give me something like what they did with God of War. Uh, give me something fresh, refreshing, yet, like, familiar. Mm -hmm. um, will they ever do something like that? I doubt it. Uh, Game Freak doesn't seem to be the kind of company that that wants to do anything more than what is just, like, like bare minimum of, like, evolving, you know, pun intended, their their games. Yeah. I mean, they they have they have a new game coming out, but I don't know. That's 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 to be determined to see if it's any fucking good. Number one, but this mm -hmm. Pokemon, this new Sword and Shield. I mean, the the greatest thing is that the fucking Kaiju Pokemon are like giant as shit, but only <laughs> for like three fucking rounds or whatever. I don't know. I'm not in love with this. I wouldn't get this if I had the option to, <laughs> which I don't. <laughs> and honestly, look, like like they like all these people showing up to Story Mary Fifty One. We need to show up and not purchase this shit, please. For the love of God. Not per Why are you showing up in the first place? <laughs> to flick them off, obviously. I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not paying. Uh, fair I'm enough. not paying for this shit. I, I mean, there, there. For me, Pokemon has went so far down the drain. There's every. Every new character, every game that comes out with new characters, it, it just feels like a Call of Duty reboot for me. Oh, wow. what? You know what? Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, like, I like how that. Many, how, how many times are you going to reboot Pidgeotto? Right? How many, time, how many times are you going to reboot Blaziken? That first character that you showed that popped up that looks like a raccoon? That's yeah. pretty much Blaziken, dude. Over and over again. That's pretty much Blaziken, right off the bat. No, there's actually another one that looks like him that's brown instead of the black and white. That's the original Pokemon, but this is, like, region-specific. They've been doing that for a while now, I think for, like, two iterations, two or three iterations now. Like, but, they, ha I mean, they have Hawaiian versions and whatnot. Yeah, and I've, I've played them, and I'm like, this is just... I, I understand it's region-specific, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, I played Pokemon Go, and in korea and i still got the same pokemon over there as i did in the state right it's it, it <clears throat> was it's it they're at this point they're just like all right now let's take this guy make him this color and oh region depends <laughs> on the region all right well pokemon sword and shield are you are you buying it no <laughs> Love it. No. I love to hear it. All right, let's move on to the next thing out here. Um, next Tuesday, we're getting a PlayStation State of Play. Now, uh, the rumors were and are confirmed. We're going to be seeing some more stuff from The Last of Us Part 2. Did you ever play Last of Us Part 1? Yes. What did you think of it. that game? You loved it. I okay, love, absolutely loved it. Uh, yeah, like the that... That first one, oh my god! Like literally, I I remember renting it because I couldn't afford it to buy it, and like my friends and I, we spent the night in my house, uh, and we were all just taking turns playing this game. It was fucking amazing. Like, I don't know, it was like, I don't know, it was just so good. I mean, I don't want to spoil it for anybody because there's a lot of stuff that happens in the beginning, but everybody needs to go play <laughs> Last of Us One. But anyways, Last of Us Two, uh. We've seen some footage here and there. Uh, there's been gameplay footage. Uh, it was like two years ago. They haven't uh, revealed anything since then. Uh, of course, uh, Sony was not at E3 this year. They're trying to do their own thing now. Uh, PlayStation State of Play. They're going to change it a little bit, supposedly. Like That's what it says in the little media stuff that they've been talking about. Uh, and for sure, Last of Us 2 will be there. What do you expect to see? What do you? What do you? What would you want to hear and and see from this uh, PlayStation State of Play, dude? Um, I want to see. Well, first off, let me start by saying that I think them doing their own thing, um, separating themselves from E3 is a good good idea. Really? Um, only yeah. Well, put it like this, right? You have your console wars or your platform wars, whatever mm -hmm. you can call it, but those hardcore dedicated playstation players you know all these other games are being overshadowed and this is how you contain your pr for players who really like their playstation games instead of having playstation fans go oh 
what this game on the Xbox or this game on the PC looks a lot better than what you know PlayStation is putting. Mm-hmm. Now you you seclude all of your stuff into a different platform for them to actually look at and go, oh, I don't have anything to compare. You know, compare for the platforms. It's a good mm-hmm. idea. Um, but as far as uh, what what I want to see them actually achieve from this is now that you have these which i know is budget cuts because you're not going to e3 better games being put out a, a better budget cuts? i wouldn't even put it like that i mean these guys have been killing it on this generation in the console wars oh yeah well the reason why i say it's it's a, a budget cut you you're cutting out a budget you <clears throat> no longer have to spend money on mm-hmm. um they they're not going to e3 they're not traveling around with all this gear and stuff so you're not taking into consideration that and employee time to even get up on stage and be like all right i want you to play this game for me for like five minutes mm-hmm. you don't have to do all that you know yeah. so i what i wanted to see is them to be more strict with other you know developers like yeah this is what we're doing and this is where we're going i i don't want no <laughs> ea in this mm-hmm. in this situation mm-hmm. i don't want you to put out microtransactions mm-hmm. we're making a new new time for gamers and believe me other games are are doing a great time for it uh and, and it's more about cosmetics than it is about pay to win for them right now which right. i if if i was a console player i'd be all playstation all day couldn't do xbox xbox has screwed me over many and many a times screw you over uh, and, um like i've I've put in a lot of time and effort for gamer score and everything mm. on, the, on the 360 and it it became more and more of a oh look what you could do with your avatar but I can there was never any avatar games you know mm. how am I gonna how am I gonna flex on my friends if my avatar is dressed like Michael Jackson but there's no games to play it on oh really there was that one kingdom or whatever King Fling or I don't know what it's called but I mean really think about it what's at the time what was popular call of duty halo and and all those other games no one's gonna play that if they had an avatar uh battle royale game which i'm gonna trademark now that i said it so i can make <laughs> some money off of it no one steal this idea Obviously. um but playstation really should start making moves uh or actually continue making moves in the direction that they're going in because eventually, oh, yeah, absolutely I mean, just like what they've been doing has been working for them perfectly there's no reason for them oh, yeah. to change it up yeah and i mean they at first they were making really bad decisions and everything else keep making nostalgia you know keep keep the playstation exclusives make mm-hmm. it make them exclusives you know microsoft screwed up when other games that they had that were exclusive are no longer exclusive are now on other platforms. Mm-hmm. You're losing fans. You're losing people who fully support your program that you run. But right. I mean, you guys have the money because <clears throat> not only have Xbox fans, you have Microsoft fans. Mm-hmm. And those people are PC gamers. You have two. Not one set of a fan group, but you have two fan groups. In fact, think how Think of how many schools use Microsoft Word. Mm. You know, the military has a contract with you. You should be putting out <clears throat> more games than oh, anything. Rem- <laughs> and speaking of that military contract, I remember the HoloLenses are now like being implemented in the military, and people are, and the people that designed the HoloLenses are like, "What the fuck? We didn't fucking make those for you can go shoot somebody in the dark." <laughs> It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's, too, it's, it's too late. That's what we're using. It yeah, it's what, really too late. Weaponized, the unweaponized. Um. Uh, so okay, let, we have time for one more topic. Do you want to do Fortnite or Apple? <laughs> I feel like you know the answer to this question, but because people play Fortnite, I'll do Fortnite. It's fine. Fortnite. All right. Well, this week, uh, it was rumored and now confirmed and now in the game, Batman. Batman is coming to Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. It's oh, finally man. happened. You're welcome. Uh. So yeah, uh, Tilted Towers has actually been changing to Gotham for the next two weeks. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this. Oh no! Gotham, save oh. Gotham City, guys. A Fortnite X Batman. Um, 
Okay, let me read a little bit here from this Polygon article. Uh, uh, quote, uh, well, the Batman crossover event for Fortnite Battle Royale is now official. That means Silted Towers is now Gotham City and a Kate Crusader pack of cosmetics and weapons will be available until October 6th. So hop on it, everybody. Um, continuing, the, co the Catwoman comic book outfit is available through the item shop and the Kate Crusader pack can be obtained from the in-game store. There are other free rewards and challenges until October 1st. One of those rewards is the cat wing glider uh continuing epics uh games official announcement contains some images for, uh, shown two uh outfits for batman one traditionally uh gray blue black get up and another uh eyeball bleaching homage 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 to joel schumacher's flicks uh a batman glider uh of course and a melee weapon uh appeared to be offered as well obviously um i haven't played fortnite's like I mean, I play Fortnite here and there, but I have not played Fortnite like like hours worth since. <laughs> oof, I don't know since before they removed the music at the end of the screen whenever you won the game. Since uh, since everybody was still okay just being the default skin, and now like there's like you get bullied if you're not <laughs> you know paying money for these skins. Uh, I have uh, basically what I'm trying to say. I have not taken this game seriously or played it like that hardcore in a, in a very long time. I do play it here and there. Uh, I stream at twitch.tv forward slash jrx 4 x and I will play from time to time with uh, people in the in the in the chat, whatever. Because sometimes I do have kids that are like, "Hey, I love Fortnite. Can we play some Fortnite?" I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, the other thing that I do like from playing Fortnite though is the fucking death runs. I don't know why. I really like those death runs. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess because I fucking suck at building, I can't do nineties. I can't do all that shit. And then like with crossplay implemented in this game, if you if you just happen to be on console and then somebody's playing against you and they're on PC, just quit, just quit. You're not. Just quit. Just quit. Just stop. I don't know. Just well, what are your thoughts on this? Are you gonna be playing? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that first and foremost. Uh, I just think it's it, it it's one of those things where. DC has come to realize that they're not getting enough uh, fan base with their movies. So now mm -hmm. they've taken it back to games. And it's been like this over the years. It's movie, movie here. They make enough money. And they're like, oh, now we can do shows. Your show is not making enough money or your show is making enough money. Then they got to make another game for it. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing with Arkham Knight and, and all these other games. And the Lego Batman games, you know, they realize their age group. They understand the history that batman has for the older generation and the newer generation mm -hmm. he's a cool guy with a lot of money and cool weapons to boot so they're like let's do it batman crossover same thing with uh they did their marvel crossover they did now they're doing a dc crossover um mm -hmm. who knows where they're gonna go next who they might do uh a weekly thing we're not even sure of it they could do batman for two weeks superman and for another two weeks uh the flash or wonder woman who knows mm -hmm. um no one really gives flash enough credit he's cool in my opinion oh, um, flash. but mm -hmm. they're probably just gonna do superman wonder woman but it's cool um really to see how it plays out it's probably gonna play out like the thanos event so in the entire lobby is batman and can <laughs> disappear and fly around the map mm -hmm. um to be honest, it's really Fortnite has turned into from when I played, which was season one of their, yeah, I their think battle pass system. Yeah. And well the end of season one, start of season two is when I started playing and I gave it thirty minutes of my time and that was it. <laughs> uh it, it from from what I'm seeing, all these trailers and stuff, it turned it pretty much Mech Warrior. Apex oh Legends. yeah, the, those and, mechs are fucking terrible. Oh, dude, it is. <laughs> it, it, I feel like I'm playing Lego any game whatsoever, Mech Warrior and Apex Legends to a game. That's what it, it or I don't play it now, but that's what it seems like I would be feel like I'm playing. Um I don't want to continuously just beat on Fortnite because I I'm I don't like the game, but I do admit that they're doing their best to keep their game alive, and that's yeah. what a lot, a lot of companies need to do nowadays. Otherwise, their game's going to die out. Fact. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so that's underway right now, guys. If you guys are interested in playing that, let us know if you play it. 
let us know in the comments about anything that we talked about today uh any of your feedback is like like amazing to us <laughs> uh but anyways i think that's gonna end it for us we kind of went over that 45 minutes i wanted to do i didn't plan that i was ex i would i mean i didn't expect that but huge 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 thank yous to michi senpai for hanging out for last literally literally last fucking minute <laughs> and i was like hey can you do you have 45 free spare minutes <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> nah, man. But thank you so much for helping me out with this, dude. I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah. Uh, again, you can find the Three Way Podcast. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, of course, we have a Twitch uh, channel, uh, Twitch.tv forward slash the Three Way Podcast, which we haven't streamed in a bit, but we probably will soon. Uh, and the audio version of this podcast can be found on Spotify, Apple Podcasts any really any 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 po podcast platforms you guys listen to and of course our youtube channel is the three way podcast um wednesday is our hump day show i don't know what i'm doing that for that yet i have no clue i'm still thinking about that maybe do my own like interpretation of what your 51 kids are doing right now but um yeah thank you again to mitchy for hanging out thank you thank you thank you anything you want to add say um make sure you work on mental health it's a it's a good thing to work on if you're having struggles in your everyday life um and if there's ever any time that you feel like you need to talk to someone while mm -hmm. i'm streaming obviously i'm i'm always down to whatever it is to speak to anybody and hang out really oh shit that's like <laughs> real real oh yeah um <laughs> oh, shit. No, because, no, no, that's I awesome mean, no 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 yeah um because it's it's always like one thing i've learned is the, the most dangerous neighborhood to be in is in your mind and you don't want to be there alone to be honest so always always find someone to talk to you damn facts dude thanks that's damn i was not expecting that <laughs> no 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 <laughs> but you're right 100 thousand percent correct uh but thanks again mitchy for hanging out and thank you for that and not no problem i'll see you guys hopefully next week with the rest of the crew if not i don't know we'll see what happens <laughs> all right bye bye